Welcome to Wager Talk TV. My name is Minty Betts, and joining me today is Adam Burke of BangTheBook.com. You can follow him on Twitter at Skating Tripods, and of course Tony Finn at Finn at Wager Talk on Twitter. Uh, in this video, we're going to talk about the San Francisco Giants regular season win total set at 67 and a half. Yeah. Uh, offense is kind of weak. Pitching is not that great. They lost Madison Bumgarner. Um, Will Smith and I mean not a pitcher but Kevin Pillar and I just don't really see how this is going to go over Adam tell me you agree <laughs> I, yeah I don't I, this is a team that I'm very concerned about for this season um, you know as I wrote in my 2020 MLB betting guide which is on Amazon and also at bangthebook.com I really don't like to play win total extremes. I don't like to play really high numbers like the Dodgers or the Yankees. Mm -hmm. I generally don't really like to play very low numbers. I'm not going to play teams like Baltimore or Detroit, for example, which are you know anemically low. But here with the Giants, you know, 67 and a half, this is a team last year that won 38 one-run games. They had 77 wins total. So almost half of their wins uh -huh. were by one run. Wow. The next closest team in terms of percentage of their wins by one run uh -huh. was the San Diego Padres, and it was 37%. When you get a really big outlier in one-run games, like the Giants were, they were 38-16, and 16, that's going to regress the next season. Mm -hmm. So this is a team, and, and especially, too, you mentioned the loss of Will Smith. Mm -hmm. They lose Mark Melanson. They lose Sam Dyson. They lost most of their primary relievers from that bullpen last year. So they're already a team in line for regression. The strongest part of their team got much weaker with the bullpen losses. Mm -hmm. And then you know, you've got the Dodgers, you've got the Diamondbacks, who I like as an over team. We talked about that in another video. Right. And then also the Padres, which are a very high variance, potentially high ceiling team. Mm -hmm. The Giants just don't match up well with really anybody, even Colorado. When they go to Coors Field, the Giants can't hit. Yeah. So it's a tough division for them. And again, they were a primary regression candidate for me coming into this season. I agree. Tony Finn. Uh, uh, kudos to uh, Boshi last year really he did a yeah. lot with and, and he's he was the kind of guy he was a manager I liked he I thought he brought the best out of his players uh, and that's a listen no we don't refer really to the manager but I think Boshi's a loss I'm not nothing personal against Kapler but I think Boshi's lost mm -hmm. in this situation they lost Bumgarner yeah. he was albeit part-time pitcher always injured seemingly yeah. he was the most reliable arm they had yeah. um, and as uh, as Adam said, to win that many one-run games uh, it's crazy. It really goes to, especially with their run differential, minus 195. Mm -hmm. uh, that alone shows that they overachieved. They got blown out a that's, lot. That's right. Yep. And to win that many one-run games, the strength of their team was their bullpen, truly. Uh, mm -hmm. They don't hit very well. They ranked at the bottom of almost every offensive category there was. And it's going to be really – I did. I was talking to them before we went on, and, and I thought that I don't recall uh, being – Old, you know, hard to remember five minutes ago, let alone two months, but I thought this team had a 70, and to be down to where it's at now uh, yeah. is low. Anyway. And the, the Bochi thing is interesting. I think this yeah. is a, a fascinating dynamic for this team because, you know, Bochi's a guy, veteran manager, yeah. what, 20, 25 years as a manager. Gabe Kapler's a newcomer, and Gabe Kapler is a very new school kind of guy, very hardline saber metrics. Uh, the guy's a fit, yeah. I don't know if I've ever seen him. The dude's yoked. I mean, he's a complete fitness freak. Like me. How is that? Yeah. <laughs> Just like me, too. Everyone's <laughs> laughing. <laughs> how, how, is, how is that going to translate here to a veteran Giants team that's yeah. been together for a long time? Mm -hmm. I think that could create, a, maybe, maybe friction's the wrong word, I but I, I think, think it creates kind of a, a different dynamic, kind of an uncomfortable environment right. for a team that's already going to lose a lot. And uh -huh. I, think it, I think it's something that could really hurt them and really hinder them over the course of the season. And again, as they face adversity with a guy like Kapler, you know, going away from a veteran guy like Bochi, mm -hmm. It could snowball on them, yeah. and it could get really, really bad. There's not a lot of positives, really. No. There's not a lot of positives for this team, and, and you mentioned uh, Padres are going to probably be a little better. Uh, yeah. they, they should be better. They really should. A bit, yeah. yeah. All right. Good points, guys. Thank you. MLB Super Early Bird save three fifty off the entire MLB season. That makes the price seven forty five through the World Series or less than one twenty five a month. Use coupon code MLB SEB. 2020. This offer is valid through Sunday, March 7th at wagertalk.com and sportsmemo.com.